No? Oh, it's working. Maybe. Is it working? Hold on. Why did it... Uh... Why is the chat... There we go. I was going to say, the chat should be integrated. Okay, I'm sorry. Hi, everybody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is this being... Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, so put it right there. No, no, put it... This did not do this last time. Why is this being such a... Why is this being such a weirdo this time? Ah, there we are. There we go. I figured, figured it out. Okay, so looks like the stream is up. And okay, let's see here. So the stream appears to be working. I assume, is it the same link as before? I would like to assume it is. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me find. Let me verify this is working. So bear with me. This is only the second time I'm doing this on YouTube, so I'm just, I mean, it looks like it's working, but I don't know that it is. See, that says stream six. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, the new thumbnail's there. That's great. Okay, so I, oh God, you're gonna get it. Oh, there we go. I had stopped the echoed audio. So I think the link, hold on, I'm gonna test this. Okay, yeah, no, that's me talking, so, okay. So I need to uh, art stream uh, happening right now, or right here. See, I have to, this is not a big deal, but apparently I have to, uh, not apparently, it seems I have to modify this every time, which is fine. It's not a huge, this is, this is hardly the most work I've ever had to do for anything, so. Uh, I'm just updating. Okay. No, I, man, I actually do like that thumbnail. I don't even know why I have that thumbnail there. <laughs> I don't know why that's even there, but it seems to be working. So the only thing I, I am not sure about, to be honest, is to make sure that, I just don't know that the throughput on this thing has to be as high as it is, which don't get me wrong, it up to work last time, but I don't know that it's going to keep working that way. I mean, it is it is pushing a lot of data up. Uh, let's see. Do I, don't I post it in place? Oh, I post it here. There we are. And I will post it. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I can close Discord now. All right, let me jump over to my fin. Don't know why I pronounced it fin. Mailman. Shut up. Oh, now live on your channel. I'm notifying myself I'm live on my channel. Okay. Well, thank you, me, for uh, telling me. Whoops, hold on, sorry. Trying to type and think at the same time. Some people are good at that. I am not one of those individuals. I'm actually amazed I didn't say I am not one of those persons. I was this close. I was, I mean, it was right, it was in my brain. All right, let me just copy this link. Copy. And I will post it onto Blue Sky. On the off chance anybody cares. I don't think anybody does. I really do like that thumbnail. I have to admit, that's not, a thumbnail is, I don't even know why I made that. But it's really good. For this, oh, I don't want top chat. I doubt anybody's gonna do any super chat stuff, so I'm just gonna say live chat. Not that anybody's here, it doesn't matter. And let me, I will post it over on Twix. I have to admit, I do, I do sort of have a soft spot for the name Twix for Twitter now. That, that, that is, that is kind of funny. I do kind of like it. I have to admit, it's stupid, but I like it. Uh, all right, let me re, retweet. I mean, what are you supposed to, I don't know, whatever, who cares? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tonight. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm going all over the place. Because, sorry, I was covering the mic up for a minute. Uh, because I, I've, for a while, I've wanted to do something else that was in the stained glass style. Couldn't think of what I wanted to do. But I almost think I want to do like a, I, I, I've always wanted to do tarot cards. I've always liked the way people interpret the tarot. So I'm kind of, oh, 
Hold on, sorry, I gotta smear on my glasses and it's horrible not to see it. So I'm kind of thinking I wanna do something that's a stained glass tarot card. But I have to admit, I don't, I don't even know what I would do. I'm looking at the tarot right now to see, cause I know there's different decks. Okay, let's see. Um, Let's, I don't even know what's considered normal or abnormal or, you know, major arcana. There we go. That's a good, that's a good place to start. Okay, here we go. So we've got the fool, the juggler, the Pope S. Oh, apparently there's versions of this. Oh, the magician, the juggler and the magician change. Mm. The emperor, the Pope, the lovers, the chariot, justice, the hermit, the wheel of fortune, strength, the hanged man. I did, I did the devil. I've already done the devil. I did do a tarot uh, based on the devil. The house of God, the star, the moon, judgment, and the world. Judgment and the world. The sun, the moon. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the hanged man. This is the upside down guy. I've seen this in a lot of stuff. Yeah, the hanged man. The hanged man. Wow, they're always upside down? Huh. Hanging Man is the 12th major arcana in most traditional is used in gameplay as well as divination. Depicts a Pitura Informante. A little a little death? A little whatever. Image of a man being hanged. Oh, it um Huh. So apparently most of the time. Oh, sorry, geez, shut up. You know, this thing is quiet almost all the time. Of course now it's I mean I'm just gonna put on do not disturb for now. There we go. Oh, that'll do it. So okay, so Mm. Justice the Jurist. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do here. Which I know, this is very thrilling to hear me talking about this in the background. Temperance, the priest, the devil. Typhon. The de well, I did the devil already. I'm not going to do the devil again. So there's some variations on these. The chariot, the emperor, folly, the crocodile, the gate of the sanctuary, the two roads, the scales and the blade. The veiled lamp, the sphinx, the muzzle lion, the sacrifice, the skeleton reaper. Oh, interesting. The two urns, the beheaded tower. Boy, some of these have cooler names than anything they could possibly be depicting. Interesting. Yeah. Well, hmm, 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 the emperor. King, and then there's the Empress and the Queen. The Emperor. What's the oh the Pope? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, those look like they're I don't know, I can't think of something interesting for those. Temperance. What is temperance? Oh, that's interesting. It's just a person. Oh, it's a virtue. Virtue, temperance, along with justice and strength. One of the three virtues. Huh. Okay. You know what? I mm. I don't know, I want to mess around with the sun. That's my, that's kind of my inclination is to do something with the sun. So let's see here. Let me grab the iPad. I don't know, I, I, this is probably a bad idea. I mean, I, I'm literally starting from nothing. So I had no plan. Um, oh, I will keep the keyboard on in case somebody shows up in the chat. Let me grab that very quickly. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, or should I just work on something I've already got? Sketching could be really hit or miss. It could be really bad. <laughs> it could be really bad. It could. I mean, just being honest about it, it could be really bad. Um. Hmm. I'm going back and forth. Because there's a couple other images that I've been kind of, that have been in the background and I just haven't worked on in a while. Hi, cutie. Uh, I'm just talking to my dog. I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Whoops. No, no, turn the skin layer off. Well, let's, let's go ahead and let's do the, uh, be right back thing at least. Let's get, oh, oh man, I got so little time to do this. Spotlight. Reflector. Okay. Oh, I think I just made it. I think I just made it because I hadn't, I hadn't loaded Reflector up in the back. <laughs> I just made it. That's hysterical. I, <laughs> I hadn't had Reflector actually properly set up, so, you know. Uh, that would have been really stupid. Um, sorry, we like. So I've got one of several things. You know, this image, which I started a long time ago and just haven't come back to. I have this image, 
that I started in just sketch form and haven't come back to. Or, um, this image is almost done. So maybe not that one. That's kind of that's kind of boring. It's almost done. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was the other one? There was something else I was working on. Oh, of course, there's this one, which is ongoing. So I could come back to this one and keep going on this. That's the one I'm working on. Uh, yeah, like I said, there was there. I, hmm. You know what? I just had a thought. Screw it. Let's let's do this. I'm gonna duplicate this one because I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna attempt to make a stained glass version of this one, which is not a tarot thing, but you know what? Whatever. So, so what you can see here is that I've basically done two things. I've got the underlying skull because the idea with this was a zombie. So you know I'm gonna like shred parts of the head and all that type of stuff. So and I'm still gonna plan to do that, but. I wonder if I can stain glass this thing somehow. I'm trying to think of what the right way to do this is. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I almost want to have the top part of her head be... Well, I mean, I have, I have flexibility with this, too. What's this? What's this? Is this empty, or is there something here? It's empty. All right, let's switch to our black pen. Let's see what our size looks like. Okay, what is the size of this uh, canvas? I don't remember. I do not remember. Oh wow, you can sign your name? Huh, that's interesting. Huh, I don't even think I ever noticed that was there before. Okay, so this is a 9 by 12. Okay, that's fine. 9 by 12. Let me get a sip of water. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think my thoughts out here. I'm really sorry about the only. It's really bad. Oh. Okay. So, all right, here's the thought process, such as there is, which isn't much of one to be honest, but it's, it's what I've got. So I've got this here. Sorry, I'm trying to position the iPad in a way that makes sense. Let me get a new iPad case soon, because I was trying to find little, little picadillos about this one that are bothering me. Um, oh wait, I think I have to sneeze. Of course I have to sneeze. Hold up. Whew, okay, that's that would be worse on the mic than a yawn. So I'm glad I don't sneeze on the on the mic very often. So let's see here. Let's start off with if I'm gonna have the bottom part of her head be shredded off. So let's do this on the bone. Let's put a shield layer, is what I'm gonna call it. I don't know what you would actually call it, where I kind of try to work out actually while I'm doing that let me just oh, I can't do that that's the bottom and the top oh I can turn the top off okay actually that might work that might be fine let's do this um, let me think about it let me look at this one here. okay so um I think did I did I was I smart enough to do the skin the same way probably not I was not so if I only have the bottom, hmm. man. Okay, new new decision. This <laughs> is so stupid. I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna draw both out and see what I think. Because honestly, right now, I can't make a decision. So I'm gonna go over both layers, and I'm gonna see where I am. Because, oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Actually, that seems like it's too thick, too. Maybe I'll go. Maybe I will stick with this. That is way too small, though. That's the top one. Tech pen one. Or tech pen two, I mean. Yeah, let's go to like. I don't know, what's 10 look like on this? Well, 10 is basically like the other one, so let me move back down to 5, say. Okay. And. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. So, um, okay. Yeah, okay, I like that. That's a good. That's a good weight. 
Yeah, interesting. Anyway, I obviously did. Oh, wait. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm an idiot. That's why I have to center. Whoa. Okay. So, man. Lots of things we're finding here. I did not center the skull, apparently. So none of this was centered. Okay. Good grief. I'm telling you. Oh, that's shallow lines. All right, let's group all this up. I mean, just incredible. Just incredible. How did I not center? Well, I mean, you know, the hair is not necessarily centered, but the skull should be. Wait, what? Ah! Okay, there we go. Let's move it down a little bit. I don't really know why I had it that high up either. Okay, so now we can actually use the, the assist correctly. Let's start with the bone. Yeah, I just don't know what I want to do here. But it is, it is, it's interesting to try to figure it out on the fly. You know, just kind of see what I want to do here. Okay, not like that though. Here we are. Ah, look, now it makes sense. Because it's actually center. Idiot. <sighs> and as usual, you know, as, as I think I've said many times, I'm not really too worried about this being exactly following the lines I've got because not all of this is going to even survive. So it's not that big a deal. Just trying to get a general sense of what I want to do here, which is not going to be easy because it never is when it's me involved. So I have to figure out what exactly I want to do, and I don't really know. I, I, I have a vision in my head that's like partially formed for this one. Because I saw this very striking image of this woman yelling. I thought it was a really neat image of the woman. So I'm like, ooh, yeah, I'll do something with that. I, my initial thought was a Halloween kind of zombie thing. And it may still be. But now I'm trying to think, okay, can I make this into some kind of stained glass thing? You know, give it a little bit of an extra punch from just being a scary zombie image, which I could do and have done. And I'm not against doing that stuff, but I'm just like, well, can I do more with it? Is there something more I can manage out of this thing? And I don't know. I don't know yet. So I'm just doing the lines just to kind of see where I am and then I'll figure the rest out or, or I won't. We'll see. I say that as if, you know, I always come up with a plan, but I have definitely gotten to points and images and just given up on them and just said, you know what? I don't have any idea what this is meant to be. And usually I don't delete them. I just put them away for a long time. And there are images I haven't looked at in years and years and years for that exact reason. It happens. You know, sometimes that's just the way that it goes. Um, and that's fine too. You know, you're not, you're not, what's the word for it? Beholden is the word I keep coming up with, because that's not, you're not obligated to finish something just because you started right then. And there are ideas that can come later. I've had that too, where I've forgotten about something and <clears throat> A long time later, I, for whatever reason, something makes me think of it. I'm like, oh, you know what? This wouldn't be the, the worst idea to do with this thing. Let me try this. And what do you know? Sometimes it works. It doesn't always. But like I said, you know, you don't always, just because you have an idea, if it's not going well, stop. Stop and back away from it for a while and see if it comes back to you. And it might come back better later because you incorporate some new idea into it or something happens in the meantime. That does happen. Bear with me one second. I just want to check something. I want to check on a friend of mine who's having a rough time to make sure they're doing all right. Just checking in. It's good to do these things once in a while. See, it messes me right before the stream started, so I'm just, just checking. Okay. Yeah, I think everything's all right. Good, good, good. Yeah, you gotta do these things once in a while. Sometimes people are having a tough time. You just want to make sure. Just gotta check. Just make sure everybody's all right. Because it's tough for a lot of people right now. So if there's one thing that you can do that's a free thing to help people, it's just check on them. 
make sure they're all right you know or if they're not all right that they don't need immediate help let's put it that way you can't solve everything but you can try to help out here and there. it's a good thing to do for them and for okay i did not mean to rhyme that it's a good thing to do not just for them but for you that was not where i intended to go with that but that's where we ended up and i'm not worried about the fact that these teeth are all identical normally you would vary these up or in a different image but like i said i really i really am going to aim to have this be some kind of stained glass thing and so i don't mind if everything is repetitive and the same i actually love repetitive and the same myself oh not like that though not like that still has to you know okay no, i need to do i know what i need to do i need to turn off the assist for a minute and do a central line here we are we can turn the assist back on i was just going to take way too many attempts to just simulate doing that See? that did the same thing much more quickly and i am not concerned on whether the teeth tooth anatomy not teeth anatomy i almost said teeth anatomy i'm not overly concerned if the teeth anatomy tooth and that jeez i just did it <laughs> i just was somewhat giving myself credit for not doing what i just did i'm not so concerned okay not that one i'm not so much concerned or i'm not overly concerned with whether my tooth anatomy there we go is accurate i'm just kind of laying things out here all right so that's the bone so now we'll go to the skin layer yeah, I really just don't know what I want to do here. I don't think I need that anymore. We don't need that anymore. Okay. I, oh, because her ears go under her hair. I was like, those ears don't look right. And they don't. Oop, go to pen. And they don't, but... Okay, that looks worse. Somehow. Give her an ear love, man. There we go. Jeez. What are you doing, Joey? Come on. Alright, let's kill that so that we can be on the actual layer we're working on. What an idea. We'll keep going on this. We'll see. We'll just have to see where we end up. I'm really not sure yet. Like I said, I, I really like the, the basics of this. This look is really good. Where it ends up, though, I don't know. But I, I do have this impulse to try to do a stained glass thing with it if I can. There, by the way, are the important three words. If I can. If I can. Using this as the basis. I mean, I'm sure there's got to be an image in here. I just have to, just have to get it out. i got to get it out somehow. Might not happen on this one stream, I'll warn you. That's okay, though, because nobody's watching, so it doesn't matter. According to that, nobody's watching. In fact, that's a perfect time for me to get a drink of water. Yeah, the problem is... I'm doing this on YouTube here. But a lot of people get the Twitch alerts. So I wonder if I'm kind of making a mistake in trying it out on YouTube, at least until I've got... I don't know. I don't know, maybe I should go back to Twitch. YouTube has such a better friggin' chat thing, though. I mean, this is so much better integrated. But I don't really love Twitch. It's flaky at times. Click that just to make sure the screen don't go to dead. So I don't know if I'll start doing like a split stream where I'm gonna do half here and then jump over. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know, I'm kinda doubt myself here I know that YouTube has potential for more people to see it and that's you know uh, ooh, no I don't do that I mean I've said I'm not necessarily chasing views I mean not even not necessarily I'm not chasing views but at the same time just to be quite honest about it I would like people to see these streams if they have a good time I would hope some people do I mean some people told me they do so I would like people to see them. So this is this is kind of the 
boy, would it be nice to have, and I think there is, I think that's that StreamYard software is where you can just stream to everything at once. And I mean, honestly though, I think that stuff, I think that's expensive for what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not really doing this all the time. I think you would have to be, I'll look it up. Let's see what StreamYard runs. There we go, StreamYard professional live stream recording studio. Yeah, okay, what's the pricing? Nothing's free, it's like this. Yeah, 40 bucks a month. Premier Streams, Premier Streams Two has multi-stream eight. To, oh, okay. Well, the twenty-dollar one has three destinations. That's interesting. For twenty bucks a month, so that would be two hundred and forty a year. That's interesting. That's interesting. Hmm. interesting I mean it would be a lot easier I don't know if it's got any pitfalls though I'd have to look and they have some stuff well it doesn't tell me names of viewers but hello viewer sorry I was using in the background about whether I want to start messing around with StreamYard or not I don't know I doubt it but it would be nice to be able to just send one stream to multiple places because what I was saying was I don't know how much of it you heard, if you heard any of it at all, was that one of the things I'm kind of struggling with is whether I want to do this on YouTube or whether I want to do it on Twitch. I have a bit of a following on Twitch. And when I say a bit of a following, I mean barely anything. So let me, I don't want to, I don't want to pretend that I have any real numbers, but I do have people that follow me over there and would show up pretty reliably on the streams. So there's a part of me that thinks, well, you got to stick with, you know, where anybody who's an audience is. And that would be, in this case, Twitch. But at the same time, there's things that I like better about YouTube, and I have a presence there as well, to an extent. Again, very relative when I say this. Um, by the way, I'm just going to check. I think the live chat thing is working. I'm just, assuming you haven't chatted anything, that's fine. I'm just making sure. Okay, yeah, it's fine. It's working. So I was looking at, okay, you know, StreamYard can do multiple simultaneous streams, 20 bucks a month, you know. But one stream a week, is that really worth doing it for that? I don't know. It's an interesting idea. I like the concept of being able to do multiple streams to different destinations. Like that's a that's a compelling use case. But I don't know. And like I said, I gotta look. I would have to. What about whatnot? Well, hi, Naren. I don't know what whatnot is. Let's see. I don't know what that is. What not? Ah, well done, well done. Well, you got me to look at it. Yeah. So is this whatnot? Dot com. Hold on. What? Ah. This is. I'm typing sideways because my keyboard is sitting sideways. Well, the whatnot that I'm coming up with appears to be. Oh, well, welcome from the Discord. That's very nice of you. Well, I will show you then. I actually, here, I'll give you a sneak peek at something. Um, wait, you said you're listening or are you seeing the video? Because if you're not seeing the video, this might be pointless. But if you are, I'll show it to you. Only because it's magic related. So, because um, I have some magic stuff here. Actually, uh, let's see. For example, if you are seeing this, this is a one of the. Okay, good. So this is a. I mean, it's not completely dumb, but uh, well, this was a basis that I, I used for a magic proof that I did recently, where somebody wanted an angelic version of Shieldred, which I have to admit I was a little bit thrown off by because I just never picture that character in an angelic way. But I did this on it, and the person was very happy with it. And I think they posted it. I'm pretty sure that was posted. Because, I mean, they got it. Oh, yeah, they had to have posted it in the Discord a month or so ago. It had to have been that far back. But anyway, that's this was kind of the, the opening thing where I used to kind of get an idea of how it would work. Because I really didn't know how I was going to make it work. So that was the angelic uh, shieldred there. And then these are my shieldred variants. That Well, this 
This was a rounded version of the card children, so that's going to look familiar. But this is where I took the uh, the body, the, the centipede or whatever type hard shell body, and kind of wrapped it around her. And that was meant for like putting it on a sticker or something round, because I just like stickers. I like round stuff. And then I did my variant version so that I could actually sell it. And so this is the original variant here, which I can sell on t-shirts and everything else because it's different from the car version. The car version, I can't make stickers or magnets or anything out of it. I like making that stuff. So, um, oh, interesting. Well, I'll look at it. Yeah, because I saw buy, sell, and go live. That's interesting. Yeah, I never heard of it. But I'll look, I'll look at it, sure. It's interesting. Because I'm probably going to be doing some more um, proofs in like selling the finished ones at some point soon. But anyway, this is the Shieldred variant that I did with kind of the core colors. And then the other day I thought, well, why don't I make a version of that that has the same color scheme as the original one? So I'm starting to do that where this is the variant version, but I'm giving the character the black armor. Yeah, I thought the angelic thing was interesting. I, I I really wasn't sure about it, to be honest, at first, because I thought, wow, I just don't associate this character with that at all. And so, and you can see some other ones. Here's another one that I did. This was one where a character, uh, somebody asked for a very specific kind of uh, the colors and sort of a, a shape to it. And so this is like children's skull screaming and then the colors coming out. But yeah, the angelic one was an interesting one. That was, that was... Like I said, I was kind of, I was a little bit on the fence about that one because I didn't really know how I was going to make it work. I didn't know if it was going to come out the way that I thought it would. And it worked out really well. That's, that's why, you know, that's what I was saying earlier. I think before you joined, I was saying this thing about, you know, the, there's ideas that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll start up and then I'll, I'll get to a point and I'll say, you know what, I'm not going to look at this anymore because I don't know where it's going, but I'll come back to it later. And it's something like that where... You don't know that you want to come back to it later and have an idea. I think the angelic one, I think I took some time on that one because I really, I couldn't, whoops, I couldn't work out how I was going to do that. That was, I was really kind of puzzled by that one, which was, but it was good. It was a good challenge. There's been ones like that. There's been quite a few like that, actually, with people uh, where they would ask for something. And I thought, huh, that's interesting. I don't know. How would I do something like that? Um. And so far, only one where I honestly did reply to the person and I said, you know, I don't think I can make it work what you're asking for because I just couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to make it look interesting. For it Just to, to me, I couldn't figure out how it was going to look good. I shouldn't say interesting. Anything can look interesting to the right person. I couldn't figure out how to make it look good. And I don't want to just draw something and just take somebody's money and know that, oh, whoops. I want to see my screen stop. Let me bring it back. We go. It'll take one second. But I don't want to just have somebody pay me and then, you know, not not deliver something that I actually think looks good. I, I don't know. I'm people can do that. It's not really my thing. So I basically came up with an alternate suggestion of something and I sent it and I said, well, what about this? Now, even if this person doesn't want that, uh, on color proofs, it depends. Um it really depends on how much detail and what the image is, because a lot of the time, well, I would say about 30 to 40% of the time, there's, there's points where I have to just stop and let the ink dry on the card, because I don't know if this is very clear to people who aren't artists, but these card backs are not great for working on. I mean, I guess if you paint probably, but I'm not a painter. I'm using pen and ink and, and markers, and they're not great for that. They can be very, very loose and sloppy, which has caused me to have terror a couple of times. But so I would say I generally spend, depending on what the image is, one to two hours a night, and then I stop and let the ink dry. And so over the course of... Generally, a normal proof, depending on what it is, will take a couple weeks. So figure two hours a night, that's 14 hours, 28, 30 hours, something like that, somewhere in there. And that's not necessarily like 
you know, miserable, all bad hours. Sometimes it's kind of like, you know, doing different lines, kind of planning things out, that type of thing. There's no real, oh, that's my iPad. I was like, what did I just hit my, my hand into? There's no real, at least for me, there isn't really a mechanical kind of process to it. I don't know exactly how long something's going to take. I just kind of have to to wing it and see. Not wing it, wing it's the wrong word for it, but I just have to get into it and see how it goes. And sometimes they go really quick. I have had ones where there was one that somebody requested and I started working on it. I want to say it was, well, like a Thursday, like tonight. And I started working on it just from the, from, you know, the, the basic sketches of it. And, oh, well, I didn't do the, I didn't do, uh, what did I do here? Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't, let's see, hold on, let's see if this works. No, it's not going to work. Okay, so that's fine. Um, and I started working on this thing. What did I just do there? Oh, I replicated it. That's right. On like a Thursday night, like I said, one night. And I really, really, really got into it. And I tore through that one. And like I said, because I, I don't want to make it seem like it's, you know, our working hours can be very different depending on the artist. So it, it's, it's not like a full hour of just maddening, scribbling over and over and over, you know, that type of thing. There's times where I'm just kind of sitting there and trying to consider things. So I'm like, I don't want to make it like I'm some kind of maniac doing a, you know, a crazy amount of work. I'm not trying to over puff myself up or anything like that. But, but I like to take my time with it because, you know, I, I feel very lucky to be able to do cards for anybody at all. I really do because, you know, I never... I never expected to be able to to do magic cards, period. I mean, it was never, never really something I ever considered a possibility. So I, you know, if I do cards for somebody, I like to make sure that I'm taking the time on them. You know, I want to make sure they're done right. And I don't want somebody to feel like, you know, they paid a bunch of money and I just did something really, and I'm not saying anybody does this. It's not me saying that I know anything or Oh, I know artists who do blah, blah, I don't know that anybody does that. Probably nobody does. So don't take that the wrong way. I'm not trying to make anybody sound bad. I just know that for somebody who never considered this even a possibility, and plus people are so nice. Everybody's been so nice. I mean, people are willing to wait a really, really long time for their cards, which I don't... I mean, things can happen. You know, it can get sick or something like that, and so it might delay something but in general i really do not try to take very long with things uh but i also don't want to just blow through them um, but i mean what you're seeing here is is kind of like this where i'll be sitting there and going okay does that line look good all right it does i mean it's not digital so there, there's a there's a difference there but studying things making sure things look right that type of stuff that's what a lot of it is and uh, but it, it does change you know, like I said, that one, um, that one, when the, when the one person gave me that one thing and I really wasn't, you know, when I started, I thought it was going to be fun, but then I just like it clocked in, it just started to move and you don't get in the way of that when that happens. Cause it, at least for me, it doesn't happen a lot when I can, when I really lock into something and I'm, and I'm getting the time moving, then I want to stay on that because uh, I, I, I want to get short of ruining something again there's a point we have to stop because the ink there there definitely are times where I'm, i want to keep going and i sit there and go, no i'm i'm overloading the card with ink if i keep doing this there is a risk i had one card i did have this happen i had one card where the pen i was using it didn't explode but it suddenly the marker flooded a bunch of black ink out and i got tremendously lucky now you could if you look at the card the right way you can see it because the black is just very very deep in this one spot so you could see it i'm sure i'm sure if i were to tell the person who got the card oh look at that area and you'll notice that the car that the uh, marker kind of went on me a little bit now, you could see it but it wasn't it it happened to leak amazingly in an area that needed black ink anyway so it was lucky 
because it could have leaked and run down the card. And this was well into the card. This wasn't the first 20 minutes working on the card. This is, I want to say, 15, 16 hours in, something like that. Because it was in the coloring. Or it was, in, you know, it was blacking out and coloring. And that's well after all the line work is done and everything else. So that was that was kind of a panicky moment, to be honest. I was I was thinking, oh man, I just killed this thing. I just killed this card because the marker bled. And so I'm very uh with with these with this one type of particular marker now, I am extremely I mean I was careful, but I'm very careful with it now. Because it's one of those things where once it burns you once, you're really careful with them. It's still a great marker. It still does really good work and it gives me really good uh, colors and, and lines. But, and I think it's because of the surface of the card. I think it's because the card surface is so slick. And the marker just does not like to be on that type of surface. And it just, just bled. And it was, that was, that was, I had a couple of panicky moments there. Because I thought, man, I just, I just destroyed this card. I just destroyed, I mean, I would have redone it on a different card. It would have been fine, but it would have been a lot of work lost and it would have just annoyed me because I would have just thought, I can't believe that I just scrammed this thing because of a marker that bled, you know, it was one of those kind of things. All right, let's see here. So now let's get the hair going. We're going to do a lot of detail work on the hair. We're going to mirror... All this stuff is being mirrored because, again, I think I'm going to try to aim to stained glass this. So I'm going to roughly follow my pattern here, but I'm not going to, it's not going to be that big as far as the, I want the hair to have a lot of kind of texture to it. So we're going to keep going here. And I just blocked myself. There we go. And, uh, but yeah, that was... That was, that was a tough, like 20 minutes. I really, I, after, after I realized that it didn't kill the card, I stopped and I just kind of sat back from it for a good 10, 15 minutes. I was just kind of breathing going, man, you came that close, that close to annihilating hours and hours of work. And the other thing is it looked good. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I hope most, I mean, I assume most artists do. Most artists really look at, at these cards and what they do is kind of reflections of how they're seen and everything else. So, you know, I, I, I really have enjoyed every one I've done, but the accidental ones are the ones that have these weird things. I agree. Those kind of stick out to me more when they, when they occur, especially I just had one and this person posted it in that discord maybe a week ago. I, it wasn't that far, but there was one where I don't know if you see, you've seen it, but it's in there. It's an image and it's actually of me and Shieldred is pointing at me and I'm drawing on the drawing board that I use for the cards out of fear because she's telling me to draw the cards. And that was a complete screw up. And what I mean by that is the person wrote, cause you know, I, I say, oh, do you want me to do a variation on the front? Cause some people want that. They want just kind of a, a version of the front of the card, which is fine. And other people want something a little bit, you know, more specific. So I was saying, you know, what are you looking for? Do you have an idea or, you know, do you want me to just make something up? Cause I'm happy to do that too. Um, I can just come up with weird stuff too. I've done that a few times, but most people kind of have an idea of what they want more or less. They may not know exactly what they want, but, um, yeah. So I, I, that was just, I mean, that was the, it's the dumbest thing because, and honestly where that comes from, cause I don't think I said this in the discord, but where that comes from, why that happened is I don't play magic. I, I never played magic when I was younger. I still don't play. I know it's a card game. I mean, I know now I know roughly how it works, but it's still not. It's not a second nature thing to me where I, I know exactly in my head how it works. And so when somebody says, I mean, I can, I can find, I actually, I'm pretty sure I still have the email because this is what I mean about, this is just, it's just really interesting on how you read it, but I can, I can find the email. I save all the emails that people 
set in case I have to go back and revisit something. So let me look. Let me see. It was. Let me see. No, it wasn't that. Oh, I have to send those things. I forgot. I do have to do that. Reminds me of doing something. That was. What was that individual's name? Oh, I saved it. I put it into the save folder. That makes sense. Here it is. Uh, I think it's this one. Oh boy, this is such a long thread of stuff. Oh, that's that's the one I showed earlier. I don't think it was Bradley. I think it was somebody. No, I know who that was. Maybe it was. Okay, hold on. Uh, nope, that's the angelic one. What, really? I can't find this email now? Anyway, basically, the way that it was written was, I want you to draw a picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, so, okay, so I did say it somewhere. Okay, yes. So, but like I said, because I don't play the game, making me draw doesn't make me think drawing a card. It makes me think drawing because that's what I do. And that's where that came from. And so that's what I mean about that was a complete screw up because I drew it. I thought, oh, that's really funny. What a neat idea. That's some, That's an interesting thing for somebody to ask me because I, like an egomaniac, I assume they meant you as in me. So I'm drawing, I draw this thing of myself. You know, I'm like, oh, hey, okay. So I'm going to look all terrified and tortured and children's going to have all these sharp tentacles with claws around me. Oh, okay. That's kind of a neat idea. Yeah, that'll work. And, uh, <laughs> that's not what, all, what this person meant, but like I said about how people are great, thought it was funny and said, no, no, go with it. Go with it. It's funny. And I said, well, okay, as long as you're sure, cause I would have changed it. I would have fixed it, you know, and made it more like what they were talking about. Uh, but I said, I'll tell you this, nobody else has ever gotten a card that's got me on it, so you got something unique there. So yeah, that was that's what I mean about, there's times where you plan things out and it works out, and there's other times where you can plan all you want and it's not gonna be anything like you think it is. And uh, it's been a good mix of that so far, where there's people who have really clear ideas of what they want, like the Yoshi one, that was a really, that person, as far as I could tell, was getting everything with Yoshi's on them. And I went, oh, okay, yeah, I like Yoshi. I can draw Yoshi. That's, I grew up with Super Mario, so sure, that's easy. No problem. And I did that. I think the only question I had on that one was I asked the person, I said, okay, do you want this to be a horrific, scary Yoshi where it's a scary dinosaur, like breathing fire and, you know, with laser eyes and stuff like that or do you want this to be a you know nice yoshi kind of the game version and this person said oh yeah let's make it the family friendly one i said that's easy and i came up with something and it worked perfectly and it was fine but that's what i mean about you know would i ever in a uh, five six years ago would i have expected that anybody was going to be sending me messages saying can you draw yoshi and the style of this major character that people really love and and had a good time with i know the character is now dead uh, which is kind of a bummer. I hope Shildra comes back because I like the character. Didn't know the name or anything before I drew her, but I like her now and now she's dead. So that's not ideal, but you know, I guess this stuff happens in these games. That's, that's not uncommon. Uh, okay. So let's see here. But yeah, that was the Yoshi thing was a riot too. Cause I thought, Oh, Yoshi. All right, sure. Yeah, we can do Yoshi. Why not? So we got the skin, oh, that's that layer. So this is the skin layer, this is the bone layer. Let's move the bone layer underneath the skin layer. No, no, not that far down. Put it up there. There we go. Okay, let's put a blocker or a block here. And let's say that I want to have it where the top of the character's mouth or face yeah it has been fun it's been fun that way and and the important part is that uh like i said that everybody has been really good about everything i really haven't run into any problems where anybody was really you know unreasonable about anything or 
you know, hated the way something came out, which is good. I don't want anybody to hate something they get from me. You know, ideally, I, I send somebody something and they really like it. And so far, everybody has. So that's great. I mean, it's kind of terrifying at the same time because it's it's a it's a tough track record to keep up to, to have never to not have disappointed anybody. Yet. I'm sitting there going, oh, it's going to be a first time. Or if I have, they haven't said anything, which is also very nice of them. They could they, they could have been somebody could have come back and said, yeah, I, I really um, I'm not really a fan of the way this came out. And I'd be really bummed out. But I'd say, OK, well, let's see if we can, you know, try to get it to where you want it. Uh, but it hasn't happened. How am I going to do this? I'm going to figure out how the mouth thing would work. Because the rest of it... Okay, i got to fix that eye thing, too, because that's bugging me. Where is that? It's right there. Let's go to that pen. So, yeah, and I just got a really nice... Uh, somebody sent me a card to sign and put a nice letter in there, which was really very kind of them. Um, like I said, everybody's been really great. So I have nothing bad to say at all okay so i need to cut that's got to go because you wouldn't see the teeth through the mouth just got to figure out exactly where i'm going to make the skin cut off here but i know it's not going to be that so we can take that out we don't need and i'm not I'm not erasing these i'm just painting white over it so until i figure out what exactly i'm going to do here but I know I'm not going to have, so now on this layer, I'll put a white thing above this too, and I'll get rid of, oh, yeah, that's not really gonna work that way. Let's do it like, um, can I mask this? No. Well, I suppose I can flatten it. I mean, what's the, there's really no reason not to flatten it. Cause it's just this layer, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and flatten that layer. And then what I can do is mask it turn this back on uh huh well you know what? i'm gonna i'm not gonna get rid of all that i'll just get rid of a lot of this down no not that just let's get rid of the outer one so that the bone is showing right like that so that takes care of that uh and at some point the lips i guess have to come off <laughs> So I got to get rid of some of this at least. All that down there because the, the teeth are going to be showing through. Yeah, that's kind of hard to not do that. And then what is that? That's nothing. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm trying to figure out how this will work. I think it can. I just have to work it out. I just have to figure it the actual kind of way I want this to look. Is that this? Okay, so... Don't need that. I might need that line, so I'm gonna leave that line, but I don't need that. I don't need any of that. Okay. Hmm. It's not all gonna be symmetrical. Once I start actually kind of ripping the skin off in places, um, the symmetry will go away. So that will not be a permanent thing. You know what, though? I definitely don't need... I'm go back to here. Definitely I'm not going to need this. I can tell that just looking at it. Oh, and I don't need that because that's the face. I'm not going to shred the face that much. So basically, like, I know I'm not going to kill it above the ears. So this is the tricky bit, is to try to figure out where that's going to go, what that's going to be. That is the trick. Oh. oh, where are we at? Oh, we're almost at an hour. Wow, geez, this time is one. I, I, I think there's a way to make this into something. I just have to kind of piece it out. But this is this is another thing, too. Is One of the things I'll do is, I with something like this, where I'm at the beginning of it, at least for me anyway, it's important to not overwork something for a while because i think that's i think it's good you end up getting too wrapped up in it. it's good to kind of take a break i think it's anything creative you don't i mean there you get the right idea you get going on it. like i said then yeah sure tear through it but a lot of times i think people overwork things and they get stuck in their own heads about it so i'm gonna try not to make that mistake yeah 
Yeah, this one has potential. I just have to, just have to get it right. Um, let's see, is there anything else magic related? I thought there was, I could be wrong. Oh yeah, here's the uh, rounded version of Lagamos that I did. Again, for, I am probably gonna redo, I'm gonna probably make my own version, a variant of Lagamos because I really wanna put that on a sticker. I like the chains, I like that flame background. I like that stuff. I think that looked good on a sticker or a magnet. And then I did the same thing with uh, Elos here where I kind of rounded it and I made the sun. I think the sun is cut off on the top on the actual card, so I had to modify a few things. But again, I will probably end up doing a variant of something like this because I like all the different, you know, where the, the dimensions are being split. Um, so I'll probably mess around with that because I think that could look good too. So I will, actually, Elos will probably be the next one I do. I really like a lot of the stuff in this one because I'm really a big fan of geometric shapes. So I like all the geometry and the sun and then the little, you know, the power things coming off the hands. Um, there's a lot about this that, that I want to revisit and try in a different way and kind of remix it up a bit. But there's also parts that will be very, very similar, which will be the split dimension thing. And a lot of these shapes you will see come back because I do like all the geometry of it, but I may try to make it work a little bit differently inside of a circle. But it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm really happy with all these. I know that Lagamos and Elos aren't necessarily the the cards that people go for. They're really after the Shieldreds, which is fine. But I think, I, I honestly think Magic gave me good characters to work with. And Lagamos is great too. I really... I think this. I think Lagamos is a weak card. I don't know that for sure, but it's a great design. I really like fire and, and reds and all that stuff. So this was a really fun one too for the color palette and all that stuff. I don't know fun with this one. So, and on that note, I think I'm going to probably bring this stream to a close because I'm running about an hour, and that's also the iPad tends to heat up after an hour, so it's. It's a good time to give the iPad a break because it does heat up. Uh, and if, if you have one, you will definitely start to feel where it's heating up because it will heat up. So, well, Narin, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Um, thank you for stopping by. I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as, you know, I'll probably, uh, the next stream I'll probably do again on Twitch because I know a lot of people get alerted on that. So I don't want to just suddenly jump to another thing and then people aren't getting alerted. I, I hate when, I, when that happens to me and it does happen to me a lot. So, yeah. Um, but thank you for coming by. I'm going to plan. I mean, I do my streams once a week usually. So I post them in the Discord. So you'll see them if I don't. But um, yeah, thanks for coming by. Uh, and listening to me ramble for a while because, you know, it is just a bunch of rambling by somebody just doodling on stuff. So... Thanks for coming by, and I don't remember how I'm gonna, I think I will end up doing the reposts on these the way I do with the Twitch ones, where I put them into the regular YouTube stream, or not stream, but the YouTube channel, so they'll just post a little bit later, because, you know, not everybody sees these things live, and I don't know how YouTube actually handles, to be honest, the, uh, the live archive stuff. I don't know if it's forever or not, but I'll put them in there anyway, because why not? Anyway. Go be creative in some way, whether it's being creative yourself or experiencing creativity through somebody else. It's good for you. It makes, it, it'll make you happy. Trust me, it will. It's, uh, creativity is good for everybody. And there should be a ton of it, uh, more of it in the world than there is. I think the world would be a lot better if everybody got to be creative and experience creativity more often. It's an ideal anyway. Uh, outside of that, Thank you for coming by, whether you're watching live or later. It doesn't matter to me. I just appreciate you coming by and hanging out for a bit. And until the next stream on whichever platform it ends up being, I don't know, it'll probably be bouncing back and forth. But wherever it ends up being, until then, like I said, go, go try to get a little creativity in your life. It's good. It's good stuff for you. Until later, take care.